Oh, they're level 19, so I guess you're around the right level. Really? I guess they scale towards me, now that I'm thinking about it, so... They would be the right level. We obtained corn. Whoops. Guess let's go check this up. Just in case. A belt! Times three. Okay, what does that do? Defense and crit damage. Oh, we already have a... belt. <sighs> Do I have anything that's defense and crit chance? Gauntlet. Might not be a bad idea. I don't think it would, would have saved him in that situation. Levels are based on how many rooms you've explored with encounters in them. Really? That's interesting. That's actually kind of clever. Let's see, choose monsters. Doggle, dog, snackins, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I'll support anyway. Okay, we also have ice blobs. Mogwise wrecked my shit earlier, so... I'm just gonna get him with, get him with that, and then Firestorm. Yeah, unfortunately, dog is weak to water, which makes this a little harder. Ow. Then again, those enemies just do a shit ton of damage, so there's that. Let's see, let's just ignite that guy. And I could do Firestorm, that's not enough damage though. Let's just do Dang Bitch the Mogwai. Should get wrecked by the damage over times, though. They just do not like him. Yeah, I guess both of my guys are weak to ice. Dog is not weak to ice, now that I'm thinking about it. But, meh. Slime shots. Probably could have skipped him entirely, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Or ignite. Tackled. Nah, definitely ignite. Hold the Mogwai. Yup! Let's see. Eh, four star. Well, we get an egg for both. That's appreciated. Inventory Mogwai egg. I don't have a whole lot of cold related monsters. Oh, we got a Yowie egg? I did I get a Yowie egg? Okay, so let's check let's check these these suckers. So snowball toss, severe hit. If single hit does more than twenty five percent of the enemy's max HP, they're afflicted with armor break and a stack of wounds. Okay, first hit of an attack has increased damage. So that's how. Oh boy, snowball toss is toss is spooky. If this monster is the last and only monster during the turn to attack, it does 30% increased damage. Oh. Oh, this guy's a nasty finisher. Also, chill. Let's see. Best build is Crit AoE Avalanche. Yeah, I can see this guy also working really well with the, uh, the shit, uh, sorry, the, uh, the chill debuff. Base damage the first hit of an attack by an additional 40% of their attack or magic.
this guy is pretty gnarly. Because he lets you stack sidekick a bunch of times. He heals automatically. He is a weird cannon. I like him, though. Because, yeah, if I could really buff the damage on that... He would do horrible things as a finisher. Instead of dog. I don't think I'm going to use him right now, but I could see a really solid, like, run at a later date with this guy. Okay, so what do we got here? Chill to a random enemy at the start of combat. Additional hit. Equal to the enemy's missing mana if they have chill. Ooh. Chilled enemies take extra damage. Yeah, it's really good because Snowball Toss and Avalanche both are only one hit moves, so they get the 40% boost. Yeah. This is why I wish EXP was actually just shared across all of my monsters. Yeah, I realized that you'd be able to custom tailor your your monsters to any fight. But it'd be so much more fun if I could be like, okay, let's just switch over to these guys for a while and not have to worry about everybody else falling behind in the mean meantime. Blib's all, uh, Blib's all right. The Shatter Aura. I wonder if Aura's, like, Shatter Stack. He could... He could. Hard to say. But yeah, Mog... Mog definitely makes sense. And... Yeah, there should be a catch-up EXP buff at the very least. Yeah, because, like, Skizzard and Mog actually seem like they'd be really fun to combo together. Maybe. Let's see. After the Sun Temple, you have to get new eggs to get the upgraded monsters anyway, so don't worry about them falling behind. You'll ditch all of them anyway. Makes sense. But that doubly means I wish... Uh, that doubly means I, I wish things would... Um, there, there was some kind of like catch-up mechanic. Because, yeah, I, I just see the potential, like, Blizzard-Bruiser combo out there. Probably Yaoi, Mogwai, and and Spizzard together as, as like, an, uh, a donking crew. My current setup isn't terrible, but... I don't know. Okay, let's go for the Mogwais. The Yowie needs to die. I could just try and fire claws it down. But now let's let's spread that a little bit. Okay, what do we do? Life wave. Okay. Let's ignite him. We've already spread some poison, which is kind of nice. And fire claws? Yeah, let's kill this guy. The sooner I take him out, the better. This is a very good team for just spreading buffs on my group. 
And as long as it, they're not resistant to earth or fire, we can kind of just get away with stuff. Okay, uh, let's see, Slime Shot. Well, he's about to die anyway. I guess let's poison the Yaoi. Let's see, I don't know if the Baby Dragon does it, but the Evolved One heals when they buff, so you don't need to use the multi-heal again. Uh, I was using the multi-heal because when I heal, I buff. I don't know which is necessarily better given the situation, but still. Uh, let's ignite him. Might not be the most efficient, but like, I don't know. There we go. And then there was just the Yowie. I need the eggs though. So do I need to do another support? Uh, honestly? Can I just kill him with the fire claws? There, faster. And we still only get four star. Still cheated. Only mildly. Is there a triple jump you get at some point? Because it feels like there's a lot of these that are just like slightly out of reach. Uh, uh, you get at that chest from the other side, breaking the wall. Oh. Gotcha. Right, ignite, or let's do Firestorm. I guess I'll have to go back. Not that it's a big deal. Okay. Uh, which would be more beneficial? Life wave. Lime shot. Let's see. I can't do that after all, but that's fine. We'll have everything burning. Tempting to firestorm again. But I should probably hit the yaoi. You want to watch Borderlands 3, but you don't want to. Or you want to play it for yourself? You get the chance. I don't know. I'm liking Borderlands 3. I think it's... Gameplay-wise, is by and far the best, in my opinion, of the Borderlands games. Uh, let's see. Have we poisoned the Yowie yet? No, we haven't poisoned the Yowie. It's not anything particularly new, admittedly, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to just play a game that doesn't bring anything new to the table, it's just the same as it ever was, just slightly better. Nah, I didn't kill him. Got close. I think the only shame about Bor uh, Borderlands is they really had the opportunity to do something kind of to the extent of Diablo 3, where you have the main campaign mode, but you also have, like, a adventure mode where you can freely explore. I think that sort of thing would have actually helped a lot. Defense by 3% of the max health? Yeah, we should get... Wow, that doubles his defense. Combo buffing would be nice. like to get down to life overload. Uh, let's get him combo buffing. Defense by max mana. 17 defense, it's kind of okay. Good execution is nice, at least. Especially when there's a lot of just kind of bad execution games out there that have just been kind of disappointing for a while. 
Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Because we want, we want exploit and we want magic proc. I'm probably going to skill reset chip before I use him too much. Unfortunately, I'm out of skill resetting potions, which is kind of dumb. Oh, right. We're going to go to the other side. The same people made a MOBA style game that I did love. Or Battleborn. Battleborn was alright. The... The actual, like, level co-op mode was... Mildly disappointing. I liked it. It was really stylish and really fun. Oh. Wow, really? But it lacked, um... It didn't feel balanced, maybe? I don't know how to think about it. I loved the character variety, though. And I loved the visual style they went with. Like... Battleborn would have been an amazing game if they hadn't gone full uh, Overwatch com comp play competitor with it. Because I, I think that would have been such an easy no-brainer situation. Because the problem I have with like. Uh, The problem I have with, uh, let's see, set these guys on fire, with competitive games, is your game lives and dies based on, uh, your game lives and dies based on how well you retain that player base. In comparison, Borderlands, for example, it doesn't matter how many people are playing that game, if you've got, like, a friend nearby, ow, they're whammoing him, but that's okay, because he heals like crazy. Um, like, if you've got one to two friends nearby that are interested in playing Borderlands again, there you go. There's a full playthrough of Borderlands. You don't have to worry about having a full team, toxic player base, anything. It, it's just plug and play. There you go. Um, what, what, what are some decent examples of, of games that well, I guess Lawbreakers. Same deal. Like, Lawbreakers came out at about the same time, and they just didn't manage to capture people, and died for it. Uh, we had a game called Vicious Circle that came out, uh, geez, a couple weeks ago. And I feel bad that I didn't cover it, but at the same time, everything that I've heard about the game makes me kind of glad that I didn't. Because it doesn't necessarily sound like it was a bad game, so much as just, uh... It wasn't necessarily a bad game so much as it, it just wasn't good. It was poorly balanced and and poorly bug fixed and a couple other things. But I was reading about it and I looked up like, okay, how many people are playing? Uh, let's see. 175, 160. Yeah, I don't really use this guy as much of a damage dealer. Uh... You know, how many, how many people are, are playing this game, seeing as it's kind of divisive and... You know, clearly not a whole lot of people are playing it. And the answer was, was like, six. And it was just like, uh... Hold up. That's... That's real bad. Oh, those wounds are really good against the Yowies, isn't it? 100% yeah, prefer co-op over PvP. Oh, me too. And I think the thing is, PvP is one of those that, like, if you can ma if you can manage to if you can manage to capture people with PvP, you will succeed really freaking well. Holy crap! What was that? That was a lot of extra damage. Oh, because the double strike procs like a billion times there. Nice. Uh, let's see, Mana Ring. The only six Dungeon Defenders has a better player base. How the hell? I see. That's how you're supposed to do that. Well, we've cleared it. Ugh, God, it's a long walk back, isn't it? I could go the other way, but we can just use a warp warp crystal. Uh, but, so, like, PUBG, for example, 
massively successful game. Stupidly successful, in fact. And it owes a lot of it to the fact that it's a virally successful mu um, competitive multiplayer game. The problem is people only have space in their hearts for one of those at a time. I've never really heard of a whole lot of people that are, that are like, playing... What's a good example? Overwatch, StarCraft, and Dota. You know, most people will play one of those. Maybe two? Uh, let's see, what is Sneckens using? Sneckens cannot have theirs upgraded. Do we upgrade that? We might as well. Uh... Okay, now I'm out of resources. But so, like, if you can manage to... If you can manage to, to actually, like, get a bunch of people to play the game and, like, get really into it, you effectively end up hella rich and you just service that multiplayer game for a while. The problem is it's incredibly risky and if you don't pull it off, your studio dies. And that's true of, like, most things. I've seen a lot of games go under, but I feel like a good co-op game is a lot safer. And always has been. I mean, Dungeon Defenders is a good example. Orcs, well, okay. Yeah, even Orcs Must Die. Orcs Must Die Unchained absolutely bungled it a while ago. And they still managed to, like, peter along for a while. Let's see, reduces damage taken by 10% of own critical damage value. That wouldn't be bad. If I could get it up, up to that, that would make Boo an absolute tank. He is already, his defense is stupid. I'm probably going to go for crit damage focus first, which actually didn't provide as much as I thought it would. Clearly, I need to improve his equipment. Let's see, I'm over here. Can I buy some skill resetters? Let's see, Fortnite is the exception. It started co op, failed, then went PvP and became unstoppable. Very true, but that's rare. Because Counterpoint, Dungeon Defenders, Orcs Must Die Unchained. Um, and a couple other things. Uh, you know, they started as PvP and no one wanted to touch them. Everybody was just like, uh, no, this is bad. What's the point of this hallway? Uh, you know, we, d we don't like this. Don't make this into a MOBA. And, uh, and even then, like, the studio suffered for it pretty damn hard. Uh, I guess let's fight him. There's a lot that people who make those competitive games based a lot of high risk, high reward model, then pump loot boxes in the game and appeal to people with the same mindset. Yep. And you know what? It's insanely profitable if you can pull it off, generally. It's just if you can't pull it off, you're kind of doomed. And it's really depressing to kind of be around because I. I like the idea of like a lot of developers, but that's a good example. I get. I guess I get a lot of emails from various developers along the way. And the ones I ignore most are the competitive games. Largely because there's no point. Like, yeah, I realize that some people will play these games. Let's see. Is he weak to... Oh, he is weak to fire. Oh, but he resists... He resists, uh... Magic. That's... That's actually really good. Like, those dragons are solid. But we'll wait until we get the upgraded version.
Let me see. He's not poisoned. I know he's going to reset it, but it gets me overkill. Ish. Uh, let's see. And he's already on fire. I guess actually Tackle does more damage to him, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Once you're done streaming, the video gets posted on YouTube. People will still view it months and years later. Uh, well, after the hype of a game has died. Sort of. Let me look at it. Let me look at that, actually. So, I've only played a, a little bit of... I, I've only played a couple of Battle Royale games. How'd the cycle do for me? For whatever reason, it's giving me nothing but Zanky Zero. And nothing from the cycle. YouTube search terms, you're stupid. Search cycle. I'm getting wildly off topic here. Uh, let's see. Let's just do fire claws. It'll bust them up. Oh, weird. Not showing up. We get a ninky egg. Those are appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna go down the list a little bit. Again. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago that I played the cycle. Unless I never made a playlist for it. Wait, no, but it should have shown up. It's about the surge. Tiny metal. It's very odd that it's not showing up, because I didn't cover it that long ago. Okay, well, I was hoping that I could actually talk about this with some proof. Unfortunately, it looks like all of my videos on the game have just totally disappeared. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I covered a game called The Cycle a while back. Uh, it is a... It's a competitive... Co cooperative? Battle Royale game? It's interesting. You don't actually really attack other players that often. The game doesn't really, like, support that. Um, apparently, I covered a lot longer ago than I thought. Uh, let's see. They're all weak to Earth. I mean, this group just seems to be kind of multi-purpose for this area. Uh, the first episode has an insane amount of views, comparatively. Uh, ish? In the first episode, it has 65,000 views. The second episode has 5,000. And then the... The next one has 3,000. That was one of those games that people were interested in, but it didn't do well. It did okay at best. And so what, un what ended up happening is, I got a shit ton of views from people that are like, huh, is this any good? No. And then, dead. Whereas, like, com conversely, like, yeah, they just totally murked him. Conversely, like, what's something kind of recent that's not... Well, actually, Monster Sanctuary. Easy, easy example. Uh, e Easy-ish? I guess not really. I should probably pick something that's... Let's go cooperative. Let's go Remnant from the Ashes. Because they're kind of in the same vein. You know, because Remnant could have been kind of a PvP thing-ish. Uh, first episode has 40, 43,000, then 16,000, then 12,000, 10,000, and then down into the regular thousands. And... It's, let's see, do we have a whole lot of regen? We have an okay amount. I'm gonna do full defense on, no, I don't know if I need to do full defense on somebody. We're just gonna poison them. Uh, let's see. But so like, yeah, okay, the cycle did get more views in that first episode, but that retention was terrible. And some amount of that has to do with the fact that, like, I'm just not good at the, like, I wasn't very good at the game. So, unsurprising, I'm just gonna full defense him. Uh, let's see. Have tackle, another slime shot, another slime shot, I guess. Uh, wow, that double strike is obscene when it triggers. And 
And, like, I realize that this is a terrible example, but I could sit down and do the math. And we could actually look at a lot of co-op games that have managed to maintain a player base years later. I mean, what are some easy examples? Dungeon Defenders 1. That came out when I think I'm... I'm pretty sure that came out when I was in college, and, like, that has managed to maintain a fairly healthy player base ever since. Orcs Must Die 2. Heck, I, I'm kind of curious if Orcs Must Die 2 actually wasn't still pulling in the numbers better than Orcs Must Die Unchained. Maybe. Hard to say on that one. I wish I would actually known that Un Unchained was shutting down, because I would have hopped on on their, uh, their, their, like, event at the end and been like, well, rest in peace, game. You were cool. Oh, let's see. Let's just do Fire Shield this time around. Let's see. Saying that competitive games get long-term viewership, too, even after the game's dead. Maybe? I guess, let's let's keep going down this list. How did my... I actually did play PUBG. Oh. Did I not put a playlist for it? Maybe I listed it as PUBG. Ugh. Goddamn. I search... It's just giving me nothing but, like, Dragon Quest. Okay, there we go. No. No, my PUBG video, my first episode of PUBG only has 8,000 views. You really, I mean, I'm a bad example for this one. So, like, I am, I am absolutely cherry-picking in a bad way. Oh, why did I do that? Eh, whatever. The sooner I kill some of these guys, the better. You set him on fire? Nah, let's jewel, let's jewel blast this guy. See if I kill him. Probably not. Nope, but the poison finishes him off. Perfect. Let's see. But yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm cherry picking a little bit from my perspective. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Get that overkill bonus going. Buffs. Set him on fire a bit. I play Dead by Daylight. Eventually we'll die. Yeah. It's a Cross Counters YouTube channel that shows that kind of thing. Alright, let's look him up. I've never heard of Cross Counter, but I actually don't look at a whole lot of other YouTube channels. I think there's a difference between, like, going at all in on something. I assume with Cross Counter, that's an actual fighting game. Because I will admit, fighting games are special and different than, like, fly-by-night stuff. Eh. Cross Counter's okay. No, they're doing okay. Maybe? They're interesting to look at. There definitely is an appeal there. But I think it's more of an established fan base that is interested in fighting games that has specifically found them. But I'm like, I'm looking at the CEO 2019 Top 96 stuff and the view... Uh, the view range there is a little uh, painful to look at. It's... I don't know... It, Viewer math and viewership math and views math is a bad rabbit hole to go down, because if you start going down it too far, you, like, realize that, yeah, the optimum YouTube is straight up to just play nothing but, uh, freaking Fortnite forever. Woo! That's a new kitty that I haven't seen before. Uh, let's see, so they're pretty resistant to Earth. Oh, and Paraglows are actually weak to water. Oh, maybe I should grab that Mogwai. Well, they're all burning, which is actually really good for me.
Pow! That was downright painful. Let's see, they're weak to earth. There's fire. Uh, I guess just tackle? We're gonna kill that Mogwai. I might want to go get me a Mogwai. Uh, I might want to go grab my Mogwai. It seems like it might be worth it. Well, there goes Steckens. I don't think I'm getting one of those cats. Uh, let's see. Oh, he actually has Aqua Blast, now that I'm looking at it. It's not the most powerful, but it's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. We can do another Firestorm. Let's just work on these things. Mogwai sucks, in your opinion. Mogwai is stupid powerful! Okay, let's just do Aqua Blast. And... You know what? Laws might actually do more damage. No, Fire Claws does more damage. Also, thank you, Salicata, for the nine month resub. Thank you so much. This stupid thing has heals, and I don't like it. Uh, let's see, do we do full defense? No, I'm gonna heal him, which is probably. probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it gives them the might perk. Which is kind of what we were looking for anyway. I guess the other person I could... Oh, I, I know what I should do when fighting these guys. Honestly, if we run into more cats, I'm just bringing Chip along. There we go. Wander, I've been watching your YouTube Dragon Quest Builders 1 and 2 and saw you complete Dragon Quest Builders 1 and 2. We got first. Uh, where are you at? Where you got silver data? Anyway, anyway, welcome! And I will admit I'm completely done with, uh, ooh. Great hybridization is probably the next thing I want to pick up on this guy. Or, yeah. Physical crit damage increased by 20% of magic damage. I'm not actually sure how that stacks down, but that seems like it's worth it. Empower would be nice, and Critical Consistency would be helpful. There's also Lifeline, which would get Glory as a buff. Let's see, otherwise we could do Higher Tier Jewel Blast, which would help. It would do a lot more damage. Otherwise we could get Life Overload. That'd only be an extra 21. I'm gonna try critical hybridization. I don't know if we're actually going to see a specific bonus there, but it seems like it'd be good. Let's see, poison and burden debuff damage increased by 20%? Yeah, we're pretty reliant on those. Oh, right. And I think I have a reward box that I can pop open. A red gem. We also have some of these. I should probably actually hold on to them in retrospect. 